This is Susan. She's 21 years old. Four years ago, she did an HIV test which was negative. A year later, she gave birth to her first child. She breastfed her baby for two years. Then, nine months ago, she did another HIV test, which this time was positive. She found out she was pregnant a month later. Six months into her pregnancy, another test confirmed that she's positive. Two days ago, Susan was referred from a health centre where she'd just given birth at eight months to a baby girl. The weight of the baby on admission was 1.54 kilograms. The Verapin syrup was started straight away after admission. Susan says she understands the importance for the baby. When asked about her own ARVs, she says she's been taking them properly for the two months since she started ART. Her bottle, which is for a month's supply, is more than half empty. This should be her second bottle since starting ART. But there's no record of her returning to the health centre a month after initiation to collect the second set of medicines. This could either be an error at the health center or else her adherence is poor. She needs to be briefed both on the importance of adherence and on asking for her health passport to be properly filled out. When asked about her husband, Susan says he tested HIV negative a year ago, but has not had a test since. Susan's baby is having some difficulty feeding. At present, her mother is giving her expressed breast milk. She's told to breastfeed exclusively until six months, then complementary feed up to two years. Susan is told that her first child has probably been exposed to the HIV virus and could be HIV positive. She needs to go to a health centre to get the child tested. Seven days later, Susan's baby has started to put on weight and is now breastfeeding properly. She's now on the kangaroo ward. She's improving daily and will soon be ready to go home.